When the weather is nice, you and the kids aren't the only ones who want to be outside, so do your pets. And every now and then, or in my case, like twice a week, they get loose. Anna Christman from Michigan Humane is back with us to explain how you can help ensure your pet gets back to you safely. You also happen to have a new adorable pet that needs a home, and our sponsor, the Mike Morse Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fee for whoever adopts that animal. Who do you have today, Anna? Well, Jason, this incredibly regal looking cat here is Sam. Uh, Sam is currently looking for his forever home out of our Mackey Center in Detroit. And if your pet keeps escaping, I feel like you and I should have a private combo. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a long story. She knows how to open doors <laughs> and she uses brute force to get past us to rush out through the garage. So fair enough. Fair enough. Well, then we are actually perfectly timely topic for you today because we wanted to talk about pet IDs and microchipping today. So one of the most important things that you can do to make sure that if your pet does become loose or lost to get them back to you is to have a collar with an ID tag on it that's got their name, their address, and a good working phone number for you, a phone number that you're likely to pick up, even if it is a stranger calling you, as well as a microchip. So MHS actually microchips all of our cats, just like Sam here, because if you can believe it, Cats have even a lower rate of return to owner if they get out or get lost than our dogs do. So easy peasy to get a microchip implanted in your pet. Most veterinary offices offer it. Um, there are also periodic clinics throughout the year where you can get them at a reduced or low cost. But all we do is we implant a tiny little chip in the back of your cat. Sam, will you let me scan? Oh, come on, Sam. All right, and so you guys can kind of see, I think, on our little reader here. That is Sam's designated microchip number. So now if Sam were to be adopted, get out, get lost, and come into an animal protection facility, veterinary center, anything like that, they'd be able to scan Sam, find his microchip, and get him home with his new family. Oh, he just loafed. Uh, <laughs> he I, does. He's like the, he's the coolest cat, Jason. He, really he also looks like our producer's uh, cat, Spot. Um, uh, here's a legitimate question. I was going through my bills last weekend, the entirety of our stack. You know what I mean? Like you've got those bills or, uh -huh. or you know, and I thought, what is this? It looked like junk mail. Open it up. And it, it was uh, the place that's claiming to be like, like I have to renew a subscription for uh, Charlie Tickles chip. It, could that be legit or no? So it very well could be. It really depends. Um, each microchip manufacturer has different policies and procedures for how they maintain <clears throat> their registration database. So Michigan Humane actually works with a company called 24 Pet Watch. So if you're adopting from Michigan Humane or if you're getting us microchip through our veterinary clinics, we'll actually take care of the registration for you. And then 24 Pet Watch reaches out with additional information about how to make sure that you're keeping that registry info up to date and accurate, especially if you ever move change phone numbers, anything like that. The microchip's only as good as your updated contact information. All right, we're out of time, Anna. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Remember, if you adopt today's cat, the Mike Morris Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees, and the Mike Morris Law Firm also wants to help you if you need legal assistance. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or call the same on the telephone, 855-MIKE-WINS, to find out if you Yes, you have a case.